So you might have seen our recent video. If you haven't, click back on a couple of videos. I'm taking two T5s and I'm making them into one and I'm trying to make my dream build. So today we're gonna to be talking about the Horizon pop top roof. I'll show you some more details a little bit later on, but to start with, you'll know the stuff that's come from these guys before. So we're working with Vision Tech on this. So Vision Tech, you'll know them from a few things like the stealth rear door flap, really popular unit, a way to add additional connection points, electric hookups, gas points, those kind of things. So that was designed and brought to us by Vision Tech, which we distribute. And then around the front, they also did this. The e-grill electric hookup point. So I've got this in my crafter. We supply these to loads of conversion companies, but it's just a really nice way to have your vehicle connected to the electric hookup. Look stealth, you've not got an ugly point, any ugly points on the side, and it just sits in there really neatly. Randomly, when I was in Italy, I had this in my crafter, and somebody thought it was an electric vehicle. <laughs> the way it was connected, it just assumed it was the charging point for the electric vehicle. So Vision Tech are well known for this in their brilliant design and engineering, and now they've brought you this. <laughs> So both these vans here, this T6 and this T6.1, have the Horizon pop top roofs. Is it roofs? 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 I don't know. Jake, Google that for me. Is it roof or roofs? There we go. So the idea of an elevating roof isn't new. They've been put in transporters or in camper vans since the early 50s, with originally the idea being that it just gave you more height when you're standing up in the vehicle. That's kind of progressed over the years now, and we see them in so many vehicles, whether it's a genuine California or camper conversions, or dare I even say it in a transit, to this. So this is the ultimate height, the ultimate lift elevating roof, which also gives the ability to sleep two people up there comfortably. Okay, so standing back here, you can see how high these things lift. So as you can see there, you've got half a meter, so 50 centimeters lift at the back there, and you've got 1.4 meters lift at the front. So as I said before, top and tail, both sleep that way, both sleep that way, no problems with the horizon roof. So you can see that roof there, that has the pop top roof installed and you can see you don't even know it's there the first time i saw a van one of these in i was completely unaware i had a roof on you kind of got to look real close to notice other than the finish and the color however you finish it they only stand 15 mil prouder than the standard roof the benefit to that obviously is it looks so good but secondly you don't get the wind noise i've had vans with pop top roofs before and where they've kind of got this step here you just get wind noise you're aware of it constantly when you're inside the cab these things are silent you aren't even aware internally or externally the roof's on so massive plus point to these is how low they sit and then the other big point to them is how high they go. So as you can see from this one here, this horizon roof all the way extended here has the biggest space out of any pop top roof I'm aware of. If you were gonna sleep people in a pop top roof, generally you have to have your feet down this end at the back and then head at this end. But with how high the horizon opens, you can sleep the other way around. So you might be a top and tailor. You might not wanna sleep both the same way around. With this, there's no, there's no need. You can have people on both sides. So not that I'd advise doing that. Oh, hang on a minute. You're not talking about driving. Yeah, okay. <laughs> yeah, don't do that. So as part of the testing process, when you're producing something like this, you need to test them to a high level. And these have been tested in 70 mile an hour gusts. You're on a campsite, it's mega wind day. Don't worry, you're not gonna cripple your roof. These things can withstand 70 mile an hour gusts. So a few obvious questions that are gonna come up. Are they available for long wheelbase and short wheelbase? Well, yes, these two are both long wheelbase. This is obviously a T6, that one's a T6.1. I'm fitting one in the T5, so yes, they fit T5, T5.1, T6, T6.1, long wheelbase and short wheelbase. So some of you might look at that, I know what that is, I've seen that before. That's the same as a Hilo. So Hilo ceased trading a few years ago. Vision Tech were installers of Hilos. Vision Tech acquired the design rights for the hinge system. That's what makes the horizon roof work so well and able to collapse down inside the roof. And now, love a bit of bling, they all come with this polished stainless steel hinges. So onto the canvas, not only does it look good, but this is marine grade canvas that's Teflon coated. Let me just bring out my crib sheet Jake did for me. With Teflon overcoat offering unmatched durability and hydrophobic properties. So you've seen the outside, let's go inside and have a look. Okay. Thursday, again, similar numbers. Can we go all the way up there? It's usually gonna be in this. A hot spot. Can you feel? Can you? <laughs> so now we're up here. One of the most obvious things is how much the scenic canvas opens. So you can see here the whole space is opened up. Picture this, you're sitting on the beach looking out at the sea. Big open plan view all around. I guess hence why they call it a scenic canvas. But with this up, 
I mean, I'm six foot and I'm sat right back here and there's still plenty of room. A lot of pop tops, you're sitting right on the edge there. And because they don't have that extra lift, you aren't able to sit right back here. But I can lie right down here like this and you don't feel claustrophobic. I don't know of another pop top roof where you can sleep this way around. You lie here and you've got plenty of space. So you don't feel like you've, you know, you're being crowded by the roof right in your face. So having this extra space, the height here, means that an adult can comfortably sleep in a horizon roof. A lot of pop tops you see, because they're cramped, they're really designed for children to sleep in, but happily, you know, I'm six foot, I would happily sleep in this space. So while we're talking about an adult sleeping up here, the horizon roof comes with this bifold. Uh, roof bed. Well, I'll show you in detail from underneath how well that folds away so you've got the space when you're underneath. But this bifold uh, roof bed here can take 300 kilos. So as an idea, that's three and a half of me. I'm not sure three and a half of me would fit wide, but it can certainly take three and a half of me weight wise. So let's go downstairs and show how it works from underneath. So going back to what we said, well, going back to what I said originally at the start of the video, the whole idea of an elevating roof came from the need to have more space when you're in here. I mean, if you don't have a pop top roof, obviously you're trying to cook and you're like down here doing your thing on your knees. With the horizon roof, not only does this bifold bed lift up, but it lifts that far up out the way that you can use the whole space of the van when you're standing up. This wasn't here, you can stand right back here comfortably and you have this full height standing space so you're not kind of hunched over in, inside your van. So we're working with Horizon to make it as easy as possible for you to order the setup that you need for your van. So there's a really simple order page on our website where you select long wheelbase, short wheelbase. You choose the finish of your roof, whether it be color coded or whether like these two, it's got a carbon effect roof on it the colour of your canvas, whether you want the additional roof bars for extra storage on the outside if you want. But other than that, everything else is included. So the bifold roof and all the other trimmings are all part and parcel of the package just to make it really simple. So you place the order through our website, we'll then direct you to the approved installer that can fit this roof to the same level and the same quality no matter where you are in the country. Hopefully you've enjoyed this video. If you're considering a pop top roof, look up the Horizon roof. It's on our website, it's really easy to navigate. There's plenty more information on there and also the ability to order it. I'm really excited about getting one of these in my van. It's a big part of my project of my dream build. I wanted a pop-top roof, but it had to be this one. It had to be this good. Please do share this video with anybody who might be interested in having a pop-top roof or has one and is considering upgrading. Please do hit that like button. It means a lot. The more people that like it, the more YouTube shares it with other people. Please comment below anything you want to know about the Horizon Roof. We'll do our best to answer any questions you've got or queries. We try and answer all the YouTube questions as and where we can. And as always, thanks for watching. So you all know we're big fans of the ID Buzz. Well, Horizon have just finished a Horizon Roof for the ID Buzz. Here's some pictures. Ready? Look how low the roof is. It's so low. Right, <laughs> off, Jake. <laughs>